The Panama City Community Redevelopment Agency held a workshop today commemorating black history in Bay County. As News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, organizers hope to inform the public on the past and help them prepare for the future. A lot of us have been ed educators, we've been artists, we've been writers, and so we need to display that information. Community members visited A.D. Harris Learning Center on Saturday to learn more about the history of the Glenwood neighborhood. The program featured local historians, preserved documents, and photographs of past generations. I think it's a great opportunity for our citizens to have a chance to not only share with their uh, grandkids and their kids about the history of Glenwood, but it also shows some of the significant uh, accomplishments that African Americans have made to the community as well as the nation. Paintings by Panama City artists show observers what the Glenwood community used to look like. There were also pictures of key black community members in Bay County from past generations. Donna Pilson, the Rebuild Bay County Executive Director, says that without events like this one, it's easy to forget a neighborhood's history. We lose a lot of our history because we've not preserved the documents properly. Uh, we've seen um, after the storm uh, several of our artifacts come out of storage and not having been preserved properly. Pilsen says events about the past like this one help the community plan for the future. If we can show today how to preserve documents, not just our what we think is old documents, but the documents that are relevant to us today, then 10, 15 years from now, um, if we have some other storm, then those that next generation will be ready and will be able to have shown the documentation to be able to get whatever assistance is necessary. In Panama City, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The event also featured a panel of community leaders who discussed Bay County artifact preservation.